When the eclipse happens on Monday afternoon, leaders from John Ball Zoo will carefully monitor how the animals react. Because an eclipse doesn't happen very often, there's not a lot of data about how it affects animals. But there are some stories from past eclipses to suggest animals do behave differently. For example, crickets might start chirping or birds might start mm -hmm. singing. So staff members at the zoo will be paying close attention to their animals. And we'll be recording notes into uh, into our uh, software that we're, well, we, we can track it too to see how our animals react. Um, zoo animals is another area that people don't know how they uh, react. Um, one story I read was uh, a flock of penguins that got their morning food and then the eclipse happened and they all got really worried that it was getting dark and they hadn't had their dinner yet. So they were pretty active. So it's, uh, it'll be neat to see how um, the animals here uh, react to this event. Wait to see how that goes. The Safari Eclipse Project has been recruiting citizen scientists to record their observations of how animals react to the eclipse. You can pick a wild animal, a zoo animal, a farm animal, or even a pet to observe. We have directions on how to participate on 13onyourside.com.